Hi, I'm Mayor Blake, and in this amazing amphibians newsletter, we're going to be talking about the newly renovated Japanese giant salamander habitat. I'm going to be telling you some facts about the Japanese giant salamander and some more interesting information. See you there! Welcome to the newly renovated Japanese giant salamander habitat. There are five salamanders here with three males and two females. There's a male named Dieter that is 67 pounds, a male named Sen, which is 60 pounds, a male named Bob, which is 50 pounds, a female named Hetsu, that is 36 pounds, and a female named Helga, which is 33 pounds. The Japanese giant salamander is a fully aquatic giant salamander in Japan. They can be up to 5 feet in length, and it is the third longest salamander in the world. Unfortunately, like most amphibians, the Japanese giant salamander is threatened due to habitat loss or degrading, pollution, and even invasive species. Further proven by the fact that Japanese giant salamanders are good bioindicators, that means they are useful for determining the health of the ecosystem. The Japanese giant salamander has brown and black mottled skin that provides camouflage at the bottom of streams and rivers. Its body surface is covered with some warts and there's some on their head. They have very small eyes without eyelids and they don't see well. The Japanese giant salamander's mouth can open to the width of its body as it extends across the width of its head. The Japanese giant salamander has large skin folds on its neck that increase its body surface area. This is important because they breathe through their skin. It's called epidermal gas exchange that regulates the carbon dioxide and oxygen exchange with the water. There are capillaries, which are like little blood vessels that help make that happen. The Japanese giant salamander is endemic to freshwater habitats in regions of southwestern Japan. They like to live in fast-flowing mountain streams. Japanese giant salamanders can inhabit streams surrounded by agricultural fields because, like rice paddy fields, they inhabit frogs and they are the primary diet of adults. And now here is a fun amphibian fact about the Japanese giant salamander. When the Japanese giant salamander feels it's threatened, they can excrete a strong smelling milky substance. Also, they have a lateral line system, which are special sensory cells covering its skin from head to toe. The cells detect small vibrations in the environment. This helps them hunt for food since they don't see well. Thank you for coming with me on this adventure through the National Amphibian Conservation Center, where we learned about the Japanese giant salamander. I hope you learned something new, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!